It's Friday, man. Kendrick got this alive right now, man. It's only right. We start this like this, though, man. I seen lots of people killed before, but I ain't never done it myself. I mean, I never had. It's that West Coast before. energy, man. But when they killed my people, I knew I was gonna kill them. It's that West Coast energy right here. You like my little tape, though. Yeah, that shit was cool, nigga. Yeah, nigga. But that's a problem. You should have came to the wax, boy. You should have came to the wax, oh, boy. Oh, shit, nigga. It's all about old dog, nigga. You know, I'm larger than that nigga, Steven Seagal. I'm going to be a big-ass movie star. All that shit. Look, nigga, I told you to stop showing the fucking tape. And why you keep on bitching about my tape, man? God damn, ain't shit going to happen. All right? All right? Damn. And we just gonna find these little marks and smoke them. Shit ain't that hard. It's the energy for the day, man. Look, it's the energy for the day. On the old folks, right? <laughs> hey, man, who the fuck gonna be old out there at 12 o'clock at night, man? Shit, nigga, I smoke anybody, nigga. I just don't give a fuck. I just don't I give a fuck. Shit, Look, all right, not me, all right? I'm not killing no kids. And you know what, nigga? You act like a little bitch right now. You act real paranoid and shit. Now these motherfuckers smoked your goddamn cousin in front of you, nigga. Blew his head off in front of your face, and you ain't gonna do shit. You acting like a little bitch right now, nigga. You acting like a little Man, bitch right now. Ain't letting that shit ride. We gonna go ahead and smoke Talk about all it. these motherfuckers. I don't care who the fuck out there. God damn it. Is you down, nigga? Man, both of y'all <laughs> Both of y'all acting like some motherfucking bitch and shit. Scared to kill these punk ass niggas cap. Give me my motherfucking joint, nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the energy. That's the energy right now. All right, what's the deal, y'all? Top of the morning. Top of the morning, top of the morning, top of the morning, man. We up, we live. We live, man. We live, you know what I'm saying? We in Compton right now, man. That's how we got to do this shit, man. West Coast shit, that nigga K dot drop, double backed on a nigga this morning. Double backed on that nigga Drake. I know everybody like, God damn, man, this nigga K dot, uh, you know, the haters instantly. Oh, uh, that shit weak. You ain't even dissecting what the nigga's saying, bro. The nigga's literally, I told y'all last time, he peeling this nigga layers back one by one, slowly but surely. This is a different type of approach. You know what I mean? Everybody want that hit record that, uh, uh, that instant club, catchy lines everybody can sing along to. Nah, Kendrick is telling this nigga about himself. He making cut, look in the mirror right now. And I was like, the next record got to be an ether. But Kendrick like, hey, I got him at his own game right now. I'm going to play his own game with him. But I'm a little more intellectual. I'm a little smarter. I'm going to go a little harder. As you see. Because niggas is like, damn. You got to like, okay, the thing about... Like Drake shit, this is just me personally, right? When Drake shit came out, I listened to it like, boom. All right, cool. I got everything in the first take. Boom. Got everything again in the second take. And that was really it, like two or three takes. Kendrick shit, you got to keep listening to over and over and over. This is just me personally. Over and over. And then you putting pieces together like, wait a minute. Hold on. Even though it don't sound like it's a bar, what he's saying is a bar. And then you got to research it, what he's saying. Like, oh, that means, okay. Kendrick a cold nigga with this shit, bro. He a cold nigga with this shit. Drake is too, don't get me wrong. But Kendrick is really, he playing some whole different shit though. Like everything means something from this, from every line to, to the beat he using, to how he's starting it. to Like it's all references to something. I like that. I like that. I like that. I like it. Yeah, shit too complex. I like that shit. That's dope. Hold on, y'all. Let me get my goddamn morning coffee, man. Because we going to go up real quick. Hey, shout out AD, man. I see you at the goddamn park walking right now. Don't be tagging me in that shit. Ask where I'm at, nigga. I'm live, nigga. That's where I'm at. I'll go to that later, nigga. Hold on. Let me get my coffee. Come on, honey. Hey, thanks for the follow, Leechy. Yeah, we need everybody to uh, follow up right now, man. We need everybody to follow up right now. We're going to get into this Kendrick shit. He dropped a new one this morning. He dropped a new one this morning. Kendrick, 616. I just don't want you to hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, no. We ain't going to play that scene. 
we ain't gonna play that scene right there. He dropped a new one this morning, man. 616 in LA. He pulled one out of Drake's book. He pulled one out of Drake's book. You know what I'm saying? And uh, everybody's saying, you know, 616 has a lot of references. So we're gonna get into that right after we go through this. Let's see what it, let's see what it do, man. Let's see what it do. This nigga Kendrick. All right. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Like I said, coffee with the PU. Uh, yeah. There's survival. Survival. I think somebody lying. I think somebody lying. Right, sun seeker at the marina. Fuck a phantom. I like to buy yachts when I get the fever. Wine cooler, spill on my white t shirt. The sightseer, trifecta, money, morals, and culture. That's my leisure, my visa. Passport tatted, I show up in the visa. Luke Cali's dwellings in Brooklyn just to book me some pizza. Who can reach us? Only God can teleport this type of freedom. God, huh, my confession is yours. But who am I if I don't go to war? There's opportunity when living with loss. I discover myself when I fall short. Raise my hands. To a fallen sky, I fantasize me jumping planets and mortal lies. I correspond, three angels watching me all the time. Put my children to sleep with a prayer, then close my eyes. Definition of peace. Tell me who gon' stop me. I come from love, as still cover my heart, then open me up. Remember when picked up a pen, lyrics that I can trust. Timid soul, staring in the mirror, asking where I was from. Often I know this type of power has gone cost, but I live in circadian rhythms of a shooting star. The mannerisms of Raphael, like can heal and give you art, but the end. Industry's cut as I pick the carcass apart. Yeah, somebody's lying. I can see the vibes on act. Come on, man. This nigga Kendrick is cold, dog. That nigga said somebody's lying. Somebody is lying. <laughs> Listen, we knew coming into this, Drake was going to have a hard time going at Kendrick, bro. He's not. He's not somebody that's in the media. He's not somebody who lives his life on social media. So you don't never know what he got going on. And unless you know somebody close to him, which I doubt is like somebody that talks based on how he lives his life. Like, you don't know nothing this nigga got going on, okay? So how can you battle a nigga like that? So all you can really say is like the shit that's, that we know, which would be music shit that you already use, which is, you know, splits and all that. Like, so that's why I knew walking into this, like, it was going to be a different one for him, a different approach for Drake to take. And right now, I feel like he think he has something with with the wife shit and the baby shit that was, you know, it's, it's I don't know if y'all heard that one. It was like, allegedly, he was trying to say, you know, this was what they were trying to say, like, uh, Kendrick's wife cheated with his bodyguard or some shit like that. And that's where the whole who's kid, who kid. That's why he put who kid at the beginning of the last record. But look, that's neither here nor there. But I don't think Drake got much info. But let's get what, what Kendrick got going here. So now he on act. Act has been compromised. He looking compromised. Let's peel the layers back. Ain't no brownie points will be in your chest. Harassing and fucking. I told y'all he's going to peel the layers. I told y'all this. He's saying in a song right here. I told y'all this the other night. He's going to peel the layers back of Drake one by one. That's how you kill somebody. You got to get in their soul. You got to enter their soul. Nigga, I'm going to tell you about yourself, nigga. Nobody wants to hear about themselves. And I say this all the time. Nobody likes to look in the mirror. Nobody likes to look in the mirror and this shit, bro. So I'm going to tell you about yourself. This is the shit people won't tell you. Yeah, you a hot artist. You got hit records. We call you Six God. But guess what, nigga? Here's the facts about you. Here's what they think about you. You know what I mean? Good people make good people go to bed. Conspiracies about cash, dog. That's not even the leak. Find the Jews like cash, dog. I just need you to think. Are you finally ready to play? Have you ever, let's see. Have you ever thought that OVO is working for me? Now that's crazy. Have you ever thought that OVO was working for me? Nigga. You got a team. It happens a lot, bro, where you have a team of niggas 
and it'd be like a Judas in your circle. You know what I mean? And the disciples, there was a Judas. You have a Judas in your circle when you got so many motherfucking niggas on your team. Somebody don't feel like you're not treating them right. You know what I mean? And they're going to, you know, pillow talk. They're going to spill your information. They ain't going to like how you're treating somebody in the circle better than you're treating them. And that's the shit you got to watch for, bro. And at a level like Drake, you, you can only trust so many people, bro. Because <laughs> entitlement is a motherfucker. Everybody going to feel like they're entitled to more than what they're getting when you a rich-ass nigga getting hella money. Fake bully, I hate bullies. You must be a terrible person. Everyone inside your team is whispering that you deserve it. Can't pussy slide up out of this one, it's just gonna resurface. Every dog gotta have his game. Now live in your purpose. It was fun until you start to put money in the streets. Then lost money because they came back with no receipts. So that's an accusation right there, okay? Which we all knew. We said Drake is gonna pay some, try to pay somebody to find some information. You can't find information on Kendrick like so, like just, you know, searching the internet. So you gotta you gotta pay somebody. You gotta put out like a hey look, let niggas know I'm paying for information. Anything you got. I need something on this little nigga. So, you know, Kendrick is hip to it. He's saying it right here. Nigga, you put out of money and you got no receipts, nigga. You got nothing back. I'm sorry that I live a boring life. I love peace, but war ready if the world is ready to see you bleed. The Elohim, KTW, no, you can't sleep. These images trouble you. Know the wires in your circle should puzzle you. If you were street smart, then you would have caught that your entourage is only to hustle you. Damn. I ain't gonna lie. If I'm Drake, I'm gonna look. This is gonna make me look at my circle crazy. Because he's really like going at my squad right there. But like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who the fuck is... Who's the Judas in this motherfucker? A hundred niggas that you got on salary And 20 of them want you as a casualty And one of them is actually next to you And two of them is practically Tired of your lifestyle Just don't got the audacity to tell you But let me tell you some game Cause I can see you my little homie You playing dirty with propaganda here Damn Two of them is practically tied to your lifestyle He said two of them is close to you And two of them is practically tied to your lifestyle that could be cold. That could be your riders. That could be your engineer. Damn. That could be your stylist. Who the fuck is talking? Hmm. Blow up on you. You're playing nerdy with Zach Beer and Twitter bots, but your reality can't hide behind Wi-Fi. Your little means is losing steam. They figured you out. The first opinions is not convincing. Y'all need a new route. It's time that you look around on who's around you before you figure that you're not alone. Ask what Mike would do. Hey, that's like a Kendrick. Basically, this this whole little six sixteen was to let you know, nigga, your circle has been infiltrated. You have a mole. You have Judas's in your circle. Check the niggas around you. I got information. I got information. Now, now he just toying with Drake. He toying with him at this point. I got information, nigga. I'm just letting you know, nigga. <laughs> Ooh. What is gonna be Drake next approach to this? Cause this is interesting, bro. This was, look, I was saying, I was saying, like, I felt Kendrick and Drake next records needed to be, you know, the ethers. But I feel like at this point, Kendrick is like, nah, I'm going to keep playing with this nigga. Kendrick got the upper hand. I'm going to say that right now. Kendrick got the upper hand. He knows more information than we think. And I think he's he's sending messages that Drake already was feeling in his head and his mind. He's sending messages at him, nigga, like, yeah, that shit that got out, that you know that got out, I know it. But only you know that. The world don't know it yet. But it's something that got out or something that Drake knows got out that he probably had to clip somebody off. Kendrick knows it. The world don't know it yet. I'm letting you know in this song right here, nigga. You better check them niggas around you. So that's going to make... Drake take another approach, I feel. Like, all right. Okay. This is this is getting uh it's, it's becoming mind games now. Kendrick has the upper hand. Drake don't got no info. 
Where do you go now? If I'm Drake, where do I go from here? Where do I go? That's what I want to know. Where, where? What do y'all think, chat? Where do you go if you're Drake? With a nigga that got information on you, the team has leaked information to him. He's telling you, hey, nigga, them two niggas over there don't like you. These two niggas over there don't like you. And they fuck with me. And OVO is on my payroll. OVO works for me. Damn. It's a cold situation to be in, man. Cold situation to be in. What is Drake going to do? What is Drake going to do, man? That's the question of the motherfucking day. Will Drake respond? I feel like his hand has been forced. He responded. Uh, Kendrick dropped a diss record and responded right back. He dropped Euphoria and came right back. What is it, four days later or something like that? And he's right back with another one. So he's letting you know, nigga, I ain't no pussy. I ain't scared. I got some shit. Now I'm playing your game. You was trying to bait me out. You came with your two records and was like, drop, drop. I drop. I ain't heard nothing from you. Now I'm going to drop again. Boom. I'm playing your game now. I'm dropping two records and telling you, nigga, drop. Now let's see how Drake responds. Because Drake was making, he was posting Kendrick Manager saying he's taking too long. Whoop the whoop. You know what I mean? You're taking too long. Now, nigga, Kendrick playing your game. He forcing your hand. Now you take it too long. So we better have something from you, Drake, in the next 72 hours, bro. 48 hours. 48. It can't even be 72. We need something by Saturday, bro, by tomorrow. That's what I think. That's what I think. But I also think that Drake has now had to go back to the drawing board because Kendrick is, is leaking out, you know, the daylight shit. I mean, he said in the last record about back-to-back -back with daylight, that was a light pack. You know what I mean? That shit flew over a lot of people's heads. And he was like, you know, even in the last record, back-to-back, -back, I'm going to get back to that record. And now, you know, daylight, daylight dropped a disc record. So it's like, hold on, let's take a Drake biggest, one of his biggest records is not written by him. Do that matter? I know it's people that don't respect niggas who use ghostwriters. But I feel like with Drake, this is my thing with Drake. I never, I look at Drake and Kendrick as two different, when it comes to rapping, like Kendrick is an MC. Like I don't see Kendrick using ghostwriters. He doesn't need to use ghostwriters. Like a nigga's cold. Drake, to make those type of records he make, he got to use Ghost Riders, bro. Especially, like, to stay consistent this long, making those type of records. For sure he has Ghost Riders. Is he in denial of using them? The problem is he's in denial of using them, and he tries to hide them. And they always come out of the shadows on his ass. Like, nigga... Face the music, bro. Look in the mirror. Hey, look, world. I use Ghost Rider. So the fuck what? This is how I'm giving y'all these records I'm giving y'all. So the fuck what? Get it out the way. Now, you look crazy when you like, Daylight's not even listed on the credits of Back to Back. I look at the credits yesterday and I'm like, damn, so this nigga really, you know, usually if you're a Ghost Rider, you still get credits. Daylight not, not even on the credits. When you go look at the publishing and all that shit, it's like, Damn. So he did like a uh, work for hire a cub. Let me just pay you. <laughs> and it's all me. Oh, so you really got to go. You got a real ghost writer. You ain't got the nigga that's assisting you and helping you in the studio. You got a real nigga that you don't want nobody to know. And you taking full credit for that shit. That's cold. Now that's different. That's different. Now this nigga 616, everybody's saying it has meaning. It has meaning, right? That's what's called. Let's see. Let's see. Let me put this up right here, man. Let me pull this up right here. 616 has meaning. This nigga's playing some mind games with this nigga, bruh. They saying 616 is a time it dropped. <laughs> 616 is a Canadian Father's Day. 616, OJ's wife was buried. What the fuck? 616 is Pac's birthday. What the fuck? Hey, man, look. And then I saw this earlier, too. I'm like, what the fuck? Corinthians 616. 
Do you not know that he who unites himself with a prostitute is one with her in body? For it is said, the two will become one flesh. Now, you know, his whole push has been sexy red affiliation. That can mean for that. Or he has a child with an OnlyFans girl. See, Kendrick is cold, man. He's playing, he's playing a different type of game right now. He's playing a different type of game right now. Like, that nigga's going, he's going deep with this shit. And this is where, as as Drake, I'm going to have to re-strategize my, like, hold on. I thought this nigga was just going to be on some, on some rap shit. Like, if you look at the last interview when they talked about why he, uh, why Drake, when they sat down with Drake and asked him why did he not respond to uh, Pusha T after the, the baby shit, and he was like, all right, this nigga, he was playing too, he was going too far, and I felt like what I was going to say, I couldn't live within two years listening back to. And he's like, I couldn't live with that. So now, we're finna, you're getting tested again, Drake, because you want to keep it just rap. But with, with beef records, you can't just keep it rap. Where's the fun in that? You can't just keep it rap, bro. You got to hit below the belt. You got to hit below the belt. And Kendrick is like, Throwing little shit to where it's not like you got to really understand it, go back and research it to understand. Like he's planting seeds right now in these lyric, in these records on Drake, and Drake knows what he's talking about. But we're learning as we listen back to it over and over again what he's talking about. So Drake knows all this shit he's saying to him, and that is definitely going to make me as an artist re-strategize my approach. Because what I come with next. Is critical. Like, damn. I feel like Kendrick knows something the industry doesn't know yet. And Drake knows that Kendrick knows it. And Kendrick is telling him in these records, I know it, nigga. That's the cold part. That's what I'm that's the vibe I'm getting. Kendrick knows something. Drake doesn't want to get out. Again. Like Pusha T did. Again, Drake is right back in the same rabbit trap. This is getting interesting, y'all. What is going to happen, man? What is going to happen? And then you fight. you basically beeping with a ghost, bro. You don't got no information on this nigga, man. You trying to find it. There's no leaks in the crack. Nobody is telling you nothing. So you're you're making assumptions, and and Kendrick is saying, "Nigga, you're lying." That's what he's saying in the music, nigga. Somebody's lying, and that's dirty. So if he exposed that you're lying, that's gonna make your records watered down. If he exposes the lies you're saying in his records, and if we find out that you're just saying shit to try to like create narratives and lie on Kendrick, that's not true. Your record gonna be watered down, Drake. So you better come with some information because Kendrick got his shit ready. You got his shit ready. Let's listen to this shit back. I'm not going to stop it this time, man. I'm not going to stop it this time. We're going to listen back one more time. This shit is crazy, though. We're going to listen back. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Survival, survival. I think somebody lying. Smell somebody lying. I don't see no 
off white sun seeker at the marina. Fuck a phantom, I like to buy yachts when I get the fever. Wine cooler, spill on my white t-shirt, the sightseer. Trifecta, money, morals, and culture. That's my leisure, my visa. Passport tatted, I shall hub in Ibiza. Luke Cali's dwellings in Brooklyn just to put me some pizza. Who can reach us? Only God can teleport this type of freedom. God, huh, my confession is yours. But who am I if I don't go to war? There's opportunity when living with loss. I discover myself with not far short. Raise my hands to a fallen sky. I fantasize me, jumping planets, immortalized. I correspond, three angels watching me all the time. Put my children to sleep with a prayer, then close my eyes. Definition of peace. Tell me who gon' stop me. I come from love, and still cover my heart, then open me up. Remember when picked up a pen, lyrics that I can trust. Timid soul, staring in the mirror, asking where I was from often. I know this type of power has gone cost, but I live in circadian rhythms of a shooting star. The mannerisms of Raphael, I can heal and give you all. But the industry's cooked as I pick the carcass apart Yeah, somebody's lying, I can see the vibes on act Even he looking compromised, let's peel the layers back Ain't no brownie points will be in your chest, harass an ant Fucking with good people, make good people go to bed Conspiracies about cash, dog. that's not even the leak Find the jewels like cash, dog. I just need you to think Are you finally ready to play, have you ever, let's see Have you ever thought that OVO is working for me? Fake bully, I hate bullies, you must be a terrible person Everyone inside your team is whispering that you deserve it can't tussie slide about it this one is just gonna resurface every dog gotta have his day now live in your purpose it was fun until you start to put money in the streets then lost money because they came back with no receipts i'm sorry that i live a boring life i love peace but war ready if the world is ready to see you bleed the elohim ktw no you can't sleep these images trouble you know the wires in your circle should puzzle you if you were street smart then you would have caught that your entourage is only to hustle you a hundred niggas that you got on salary and 20 of want you as a casualty and one of them is actually next to you and two of them is practically tired of your lifestyle just don't got the audacity to tell you but let me tell you some game cause i can see you my little homie you playing dirty with propaganda hit blow up on you you're playing nerdy with zach beer and twitter bots but your reality can't hide behind wi-fi your little means is losing steam they figured you out the first opinions is not convincing y'all need a new route it's time that you look around on who's around you before you figure that you're not alone ask what mike would do Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, this is crazy. This is crazy. This is gonna have Drake looking at his uh his circle of friends crazy this morning. I ain't gonna lie. It's gonna have Drake questioning his his friend circle this morning. His entourage. Like, Kendrick's not saying this for no reason. He's not saying this for no reason. So, if you think for one second that this shit Kendrick is saying isn't getting to Drake, you are fooled. Trust me. It's getting under his skin. I know it is. I don't give a fuck. It's getting under his skin, bro. Because you know how you can be feeling that as a man, right? You want to look for stuff. You might be feeling how, like it's a snake in my circle, but you got to like, you got to look for it. Before I even expose that I'm feeling that thought, I'm going to let the motherfucker show me their hand, right? So Drake is probably feeling that in his head, and then now hearing Kendrick say it is like, motherfucker, that's a cold situation to be in. I already think it's a, a snake in my circle. I just don't know who. And then I'm hearing this nigga rap, and he's saying what I'm thinking in my head. Coming from a nigga I'm beefing with, that'll get that'll get to me. Like, God, okay, yeah. That'll get to me. And that's why I think it's going on. You was coming with information that you thought was information on me, but it really wasn't. And now I'm finna expose that those are lies. And that you don't know shit about me, and you're a liar, and that you're a culture vulture, you're this, you're that, you're this, you're that. <laughs> oh, drinking a cold situation. I'm telling y'all, man, listen, I wouldn't be surprised if Drake waved the white flag. I wouldn't be surprised. Now, listen, I'm not saying he is. I'm not saying he is at all. I would not be surprised, though, if he did like with Pusha T and he came with the whole, 
I don't want to drop this next record because I'm going to say some shit that will start a war or whatever the fuck. He come with something to try to sell it like that. I wouldn't be surprised. I feel like Drake has this pristine image that he's trying to maintain. But within that, behind the scenes, is some darkness that hasn't been exposed. <laughs> and it could ruin his whole shit. I'm just thinking out loud here. I'm just thinking out loud. I'm just thinking like, I'm going based off Kendrick's delivery, like how how calm he is about it, how he's not trying to put it all in one record, and how he's just slowly rolling it out and peeling the layers back on Drake. He's playing a mind game with that nigga right now. Like, are you sure you want to do this? I don't have any information out there. You do. I have it. The world don't know it. And you know I know it. Because I'm telling you in these bars that I have it. Your team leaked the information to me. The nigga closest to you don't fuck with you. You got 100 niggas and 20 of them hate you. And two of the niggas that's closest to you and what you do also spoke to me. So it's now it's like, Damn. Bitch ass nigga. I can't find no information on you, but you got people close to me. And Kendrick doesn't have to lie. Kendrick's not one of those artists where he has to sit here and lie and like, nigga, I don't even think I do all that. I'm chilling. I'm a father, nigga. I'm focusing on my family. I'm a father. I'm I don't need to be in the media. The problem is you do. The problem is you want to be the ladies man. The problem is you want to be this hard nigga. You know what I'm saying? You want to be the the light. You want to be the light in the room, you want to shine over everybody, but you got some skeletons and you got some ghosts. I feel they're going to come out. If Drake responds, it's going to get ugly. Do I want it to stop? No. I want Drake to respond. Because I'm now interested in seeing what can you come with on the ghost, man? The whole top dog and Kendrick is beefing and he was uh, extorted. All that shit was killed off. He killed that one off. The whole wife shit, baby shit, he basically killed that off. Like, come on, nigga. You're, you're telling lies now. You're corny, bro. You're telling lies. Yeah, so I, I'm going to say this, man. Kendrick is in the lead. Kendrick is in the lead. Nigga, Euphoria is doing crazy numbers right now. Crazy numbers right now. I think this record, I only think this record on DSPs. He dropped this shit on Instagram. That's how cold he is with this one. Like, nigga, that's how you know. This is like, nigga, it's light work. I'm going to just drop this on my Instagram. I'm going to do some shit you would do when it's light work to you. I'm playing your game. When it's light work to you, you go to SoundCloud, Instagram. I'm going to do the same shit. I already dropped the one on DSPs and it crushed everything this year that, that came out this year in 24 hours. And double backed in 48 and did the same thing. So now, I'm going to play your game. Play that game you was playing with me with me, nigga. Come pick on me. Fuck you. Fuck the big three. Nigga, y'all niggas is two ghosts. Nigga, you would... He letting y'all know, nigga, I'm the big dog. I'm the big dog. That's some gangster shit. I'm the big dog, nigga. Okay. Who's the big dog, y'all? Kendrick. Kendrick's the big dog. <laughs> Nigga don't like that shit. Oh, man. Wait, where's that video I saw yesterday? Boy, I'm telling you, all this shit that's been on the internet is now servicing on Drake. And it's crazy, like, was they hiding this shit? Were they getting, like, was they getting this shit wiped off the internet or something? Like, how is all this shit now? Or people just didn't care. People just didn't care. They were blinded by the hit records, man. I don't know. Let me ask, let me see something, y'all. How do I, uh, it's something I want to watch. Matter of fact, I can look it up right here. Hold on. I want to pull this shit up and, and, and watch this shit with y'all. Nigga, this, this shit coming out the woodworks on this nigga, on Drake. God damn. It's like shit. 
How did not? How did nobody not know none of this shit? I see none of this shit. It's just all kind of shit going on, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. Who y'all think is enjoying this the most right now? Metro Boom in the future. Kanye. Kanye still ain't fully activated, and he's a wobbler. But you don't want him to get activated. He gonna take it somewhere else. He gonna get niggas canceled. <laughs> uh, he's gonna get niggas canceled. All right, let's see. That nigga Act. Act was over there looking lost. Let me see, what time was this? When did he drop this shit? See, I, I don't be fucking around on Twitter like that, so let me find this video I saw yesterday. Twitter is different. Damn, this thing got a whole fucking page full of keeping up with this beef shit. All right. Quick, let's do that. Because a lot. Hold on, hold on, go live right here. Let me see. So let's let's talk about you being Jewish real quick. Let's do that. Because a lot of people think that like Asher's Jewish. Right. He's not. His dad's Jewish. You know, everybody like Drake ain't from the culture. You know, I've even heard Drake isn't hip hop. He's pop. You know what I mean, which he is, he's pop. Drake is a hip hop. You know, hip hop is the culture. Hip hop is from niggas who come from the culture. Drake didn't come from the culture. Drake is an actor. He's imitating the culture. That's where the whole culture vulture references come from. You wasn't a, a part of this life. You know what I mean? You're acting, you're you're portraying to be something, you're a fan of it. You're really a white kid who grew up a white life. Hey, he's black now. Don't get it wrong, he got a black dad. This is just what the people are saying. You know, even with the whole, he can't say nigga shit. Look, he's black. Nigga, when you from the hood, long as you got an ounce of black in your in your bloodline, nigga, you can say nigga. Who black in your family? My uncle, my my, my granddad. Nigga, what? Okay, you good. <laughs> but if your daddy's half black, I mean, if you half black, you're all the way good. My mom white, but my daddy black. They always get a pass in the hood. You you black. Now it comes off wrong when you never say it in your mix and you talk white. Then the one day you finally say it, yeah, it could come off cringe. But if you're like if you've been saying it forever and you half black, ain't nobody tripping. That's your thing. Like you black, nigga. All right, but anyways, his whole thing is he's Jewish. He didn't grow up with his dad. He lived a white lifestyle. So you know they put this out. You know with him basically saying how he came how he grew up. Let's go. Let's talk about you being Jewish real quick. Let's do that. Because a lot of people think that, like, Asher's Jewish. Right. He's not. His dad's Jewish. He doesn't really identify. All loves to Jews, but he's yeah. not Jewish. Yeah. You, on the other hand... But he wasn't there. He didn't read his portion, first of all. You didn't have a bar mitzvah. Come on. Are you serious? You had a... Hold on, ladies and <sighs> gentlemen. Just tell... You don't understand how big you're about to be in the Jew world. Right? I... You don't understand how big you're about to be. Yo, you... you first you, of all, I live in an all-Jewish area, so... Where? Where is that? Forest Hill. Okay. I went to I went to a predominantly Jewish school growing up. I definitely had a bar mitzvah in an Italian restaurant, mind you. <laughs> My lord. Yeah. A nice Italian restaurant? A very nice okay. Italian restaurant. Uh, the song of the night was Backstreet Boys. I wanted that one. <laughs> you are younger than me. Like, yeah. I forget about that. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and yeah, man, I was in there. I was in synagogue. I had my young gone. Man. Hebrew school, the whole nine. You did no Hebrew See, school. See, I didn't. I cheated. I didn't really. So you just did that. No, no. Your I parents. Just the money. Your parents are nice. Yeah. So they let you do the bar mitzvah without having to do the fucking Hebrew school. Mm -hmm. So your mom's Jewish. My mother's Jewish. Um, and you know we have we have great we have great Jewish dinners like Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. First text message you ever sent me. Good Shabbos. Yep. Good Shabbos. He kept it. He kept it real. Yep. Are, um, have you gotten approached yet by like the Jewish media yet? No, I haven't got approached by the Jewish media, but somebody today, who I won't mention, was like, you know how big you're gonna be? And I was like... Wait, was that me five minutes ago? You're five minutes ago? <laughs> I remember saying that. Somebody's like, you know how big you're gonna be? And he's like, this has never happened before. It's like every, every Jew is going to just like really embrace... Well, here's the thing. There are Jews like my dad who like cling to like the biggest reaches. Yeah. Like, you know who's Jewish? Matt Damon. I'm like, no, he's not, dad. He's definitely not Jewish. And like people reach, and the fact yeah. that you actually identify, yep. that's gonna be like, that's gonna be big. Yeah. Message. Message. Ah, starting to make a little more sense now, right? Starting to make a little more sense now, right? Hmm. Who runs the music business? 
The Jews. <laughs> Don't let that go over your head. It's making sense now, right? Now you get why Kanye is saying his daddy, his daddy. Hey, Amen. Let that sink in, y'all. It's crazy, right? It is starting to surface, man. Everything is starting. See, the thing is, like, all this shit be out there for people to digest, but it don't, it don't, it don't hit the same, right, when you just look at it and nothing's going on, no beef is going on. You're just researching it, but nobody cares, right? Now, when it's beef and the microscope is on and everybody put all this shit that's been out there together on one plate and now you dissect it, it hits different. Now you like, hold the fuck up. All this time. It's been right here in our face. And Kendrick is now saying, I'm going to peel the layers back and make the people go research. Make the people go go dig into this. I'm going to say this and make the people go look into that. Go look into this. Go look into that. And that's what Kendrick is doing. He's just peeling the layers back. Slowly. Slowly. And it's making people go research all this shit. Go dissect all this shit on Drake. And that's what's making Drake respond so critical because can he do the same thing back in return? Can Drake respond with the same formula like that? I don't think he can. <laughs> Kendrick is outsmarting this nigga right now, man. He's outsmarting. He's outsmarting this nigga right now, bro. God damn. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see this one, man. Daylight. He drops a Drake this snippet. Daylight is exposing writing back to back for Drake as well as other records, y'all. You know what I mean? Kendrick hinted at it. Your best work was a light pack. So Daylight is, uh, you know, Coming out, basically saying like, nigga, I wasn't tripping off the money, nigga. I just wanted to do it. So he's not credited on these records back to back. He, they also saying he wrote God's plan. Your best work was a light pack. They also saying he wrote God's plan and then get credited. He's a true ghostwriter. He's off the, he's off the paperwork. You don't even see his name nowhere. But uh, let's see. Hold on. Daylight, Daylight dropped a snippet. This is crazy, y'all. Secrets are coming out. Problems. Told you I was working with Triple X. No reply to my text. Now that he died, I regret not sending the verse back. But what's even worse? You know he came and tried to murk that boy. Oh, I'm talking too much. Excited to see what Daylight's going to do. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh. Have a seat, let him settle, and don't be scared. This is just a settlement, then settle with thirds. I set up nice writing, don't get the credit I deserve. I'm the one sending references. I'm who edit the words. I don't have. Don't get the credit he deserves. Remember, I said he's not credited. When you go look, go look at the credits. On back to back. He's not credited. Go look at God's plan. He's not credited. This is crazy. Let him settle and don't be scared. If this is just a settlement, then settle with thirds. I set up nice writing, don't get the credit I deserve. I'm the one sending references. I'm who edit them words. I don't have to be credited. I just check for the debit deposit observe. Why you sit and observe? I did service for all of them platinum hits in the live jam. You know, let there be light was God's plan. Let there be light was God's plan. <laughs> Your biggest work was a light pack. Mm. I think I job with God hands. I was being a handyman, hamburger helper for the logo. Jumped in the meek beef just for the promo. I guess it's how the show go when you show low risk. Jumped in the meek beef for the promo. Back to back. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> He's basically telling you I wrote God's plan and I wrote back to back. And I wasn't credited. I just cared about the direct deposits. I was a hamburger helper for the brand. 
Mm. Your biggest work is a light pack. It hit different now, right? <laughs> God damn. <laughs> he didn't like that. He didn't like his work with Triple X. You know, you know, it's an ongoing thing with Drake and Triple X, what they've been saying. Yeah. Damn, Drake. Gotta look himself in the mirror now, man. Nobody likes to look themselves in the mirror, bro. But what's even worse, you know, he came and tried to murder that boy. Oh, I'm talking too much. Excited to see what daylight's gonna be. Hold on. Hold on. We gotta run that back. Now that he died, I regret not sending the verse back. But what's even worse, you know, he came and tried to murder that boy. Oh, I'm talking too much. Excited to see what daylight's gonna be. Have a seat, let him settle and don't be scared. If this is just a settlement, then settle with thirds. I set up nights writing, don't get the credit I deserve. I'm the one sending references. I'm who edit them words. I don't have to be credited. I just check for the debit deposit. He just checked for the deposit. All right, man, listen. This is, he's coming out. He's letting you know. Hey, nigga, I'm the ghost writer. I wrote the biggest records for you, nigga. I wrote God's plan. I wrote back to back. Yeah. And if you pay attention, like, while the beef been going on, Daylight has been, like, very active on Twitter saying shit. You know what I'm saying? And I was wondering, I'm like, why is Daylight so vocal in the middle of this beef? Because I heard, you know, I heard, but it, it was never, like, like, it's very direct now. You know what I mean? It's very direct now. I didn't know about God's plan. I knew about Back to Back. I didn't know about God's plan that Daylight wrote that. I'm like, well, what? Damn. And you're not listening to the credits? It's crazy. Like, back to back and, nigga, I literally, I'm arguing with the homie yesterday. I'm like, bro, go look. He's not listed, bro. Like, he like, man, he's not his ghost right here and write shit. I said, bro, this is a different type of, like, ghost writers nowadays, they get credited. Right? But now this is like an old school ghost rider. This is the real meaning of a ghost rider. Because back in the day when you had a ghost rider, that means you didn't want nobody to know. You were not listed on credits. Nobody knew you existed. Y'all didn't have pictures together. Nothing. It was like you were a ghost, nigga. Like nobody knew who you That's back in the day, ghost riders. Today when niggas be ghost riding, shit, you be seeing niggas on, on the internet on a story. Like, oh, I just wrote this record with the Woo. And you'll see the artist who we wrote it for repost it. But with Drake, Drake really has, what was the nigga name uh, that lost his leg? The nigga from Atlanta that was ghostwriting for Drake? I forgot her name. God damn. Like, even with that situation, like, when that got out, he didn't want niggas to know. He didn't want niggas to know. Quinn Miller. Quinn Miller, man. Y'all see how big of a fiasco that was. He didn't want niggas to know. Now you have daylight. So this is a trend. So now the question is, you had Quinn Miller. Didn't give him his credits. Nobody knew he existed. Daylight. Nobody knew he was your ghostwriter. He exists. How many more do you have, nigga? God damn. And that's why Kendrick said, nigga, this is a one verse 20. Kendrick knows Something the world doesn't know. He knows who the 20 are. He can expose that. That goes back to what I'm saying. Kendrick has information on his head. He's pulling the layers back. He has lots of information on Drake. I can expose you, nigga, and I'm going to slowly expose you. I'm not going to run down the hill. I'm going to walk down the hill and fuck you over. And the more you respond to me, 
the more of the layers I'm gonna peel back and expose you more and more. This is this is crazy, man. This is getting crazy, for sure. Um, yeah, man. Shit, this is a good one. That's a good beef. I know everybody was expecting like the one and done's. I, you know, I said it was gonna take a couple records when we first talked about the shit. These are two goats going at it. It's not gonna be a one and done. But now the approach that Kendrick is taking is a little more strategic, a little more creative. He's trying to outsmart. I mean, he's not trying. He is outsmarting Drake. I'm not going to say it directly what I know about you. I'm going to give it to you in bits and pieces and metaphors. And that's what's making it so dope. And he's doing it with ease. Like, this is ease. This is light work for Kendrick. And this is not no West Coast bias. This is what's going on right now. I know niggas who are like super Drake fans going to be like, oh, no, Drake is killing them. No, he's not. <laughs> no, he's not. Like, let's really step out of fan mode and let's not be biased and look at both sides and what's going on. He's not killing Kendrick, bro. Doc got this nigga right now. He got his number. This is going to be an interesting approach. How will, how will Drake respond Will Drake come out and, and just admit to what he knows Kendrick knows? Will he just come out and say it and get out the way? Will he do a, Will he do like an eight mile? Let me just go out and shout the way you're going to say it, nigga. Because you just told me all the things you know without saying it out loud. So let me get all out the way here, nigga. Make this shit sound creative, boom, 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 so that you can't use it. Or it ain't going to impact as hard when you use it. What would be your approach? What would be your approach? Drake is down. Drake is down, for sure. For sure. And honestly, I feel like... I'm, I'm going to just speak this... I'm going to say this right here. When it's all said and done, Kendrick is going to walk away with a W. That's my prediction. When it's all said and done, Kendrick is going to walk away with a W. Because... Now listen, there may come hit records out of this. You know... Uh, Breaking records, breaking numbers, all that. Like Kendrick already doing that with Euphoria. Fucking, uh, there's, there's going to be a number one that comes from this. It's going to happen. Like everybody in the world is watching this shit right now. It's the hottest thing in hip hop. These are the two goats, the two top niggas going at it. So everybody's watching this shit. Everybody's keyed in. Everybody's paying attention. There will be hit records from this. Uh, shout out to Rick Ross. Rick Ross is keeping this shit very entertaining on the sidelines. Like, this nigga, Rick Ross might be the funniest shit on Instagram right now. If you, if you haven't been keeping up with Rick Ross, I see people saying, oh, he corny, he cheesy. No, nigga, that nigga funny. He's on the sidelines kicking up dust, nigga, talking shit. You know what I mean? And what's so crazy about all this is like, I haven't even seen Future say nothing since... Uh, since like like that, Future hasn't like went to social media yet or said nothing. Have y'all seen anything from Future? Like nigga, you kicked this shit off. <laughs> I see Metro doing his live shows and and trolling and and doing. All. I see Metro. I see him. He on it. I feel like Metro want this shit more than anybody. Metro want to take out Drake more than anybody. I feel like Future just like nigga. I'm... Give a fuck about this nigga. I could drop a record. It's going to go crazy in the club. I don't give a fuck about that nigga. I'll go fuck his bitch. They both two of the same niggas. Like, I'll fuck your bitch. You know what I'm saying? Kendrick is more like a, I'm going to expose you for who you are, nigga. I'm going to tell you about your soul. I'm going to tell you what resides in your soul. Kendrick is at, at that approach. I don't care about the bitches. I don't care about talking money. I'm going to tell you about your soul, nigga. So you got Kendrick coming that way. You got Future who could come at you with the uh, I'll make a club record if you make a club record and have all the, the whole streets, the everybody playing the shit. I already got one with like that. And then Kanye, if he activate, keep him over. Push him over there with J. Cole. Don't let him get started. He going to take this shit next level. Everybody getting canceled. <laughs> and then you still got more niggas. That's coming at Drake, but right now nobody cares about that. Everybody's watching Kendrick and Drake. Drake, you got to respond, bro. 
if Kendrick coming a third record, it's gonna look very bad. Cause I I, I heard the first. I mean, the uh, Euphoria was really fourteen minutes long, and they cut it down to six. That's bad. When a nigga, I got a fourteen minute song, I could cut it down to six, and I could still drop another record about you. Nigga, I got ammo for days on your ass, boy. You better, you better be afraid, man, because uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. June 16th, 2019, Euphoria dropped. <sighs> Damn. Somebody said K-Dot didn't even have to be lyrical on this one. Son heard Drake was fishing for info, finished reading the kid's bedtime story, then walked to the booth like, yeah, nigga, I know. <laughs> I don't got to run down the hill, nigga. I'm going to walk down this motherfucker and murder you, nigga. Ooh, what is Drake going to do? This makes it very interesting, man. Y'all saw a look on uh, uh, on, on uh, Academic's face when he first heard Euphoria? You couldn't hide that, man. You couldn't hide that. Even today, when Carl Cherry was talking to him, talking to him Carl Cherry was dropping facts, man. You know, shout out to Carl Cherry. And he over at Spotify, man. He runs Spotify. So he over there dropping facts. Like, nigga, Kendrick got this nigga. He got him. That's what I'm like. Anybody saying Drake is winning, like, how? What, what are you basing that off of? What are you basing that off of? Like, this nigga Kendrick is literally exposing the fuck out of Drake. He got everybody researching. He he making everybody listen to the song 20 times back to back. You got to like to digest that shit. You got to keep listening to it. And you find something new every time you go back and listen. Something new. Then he just dropped this record today. This is like a straightforward like, listen, man. <laughs> Your team is some snakes, my nigga. And they're telling me everything. Are you sure you want to do this? This is my last warning for you, brother. You get personal, I'm letting it fly. That's what I'm taking from this. Your team around you, not to be trusted. Nobody likes you, bro. You a foul nigga. The world doesn't know that. You've been protected. People have been hiding this shit. I'm finna let the world know. And I'm not even going to go all the way. I'm not going to expose it all at one time. My next record could just be about one situation, bro, and I can murder you. Like... Kendrick is so nice with this shit right now. And that's no glazing, bro. That is facts. That's, that is facts. <laughs> uh, uh, and you got to remember, man, they were saying, oh, Drake was supposed to drop last night. So that's kind of like a bully move by Kendrick, too. Like, Drake probably was going to drop. You know, niggas predicted it, so he pulled back. Let me wait. Let me probably drop Saturday. But instead, okay, you didn't drop, nigga, so I'm going to drop 6 in the morning on my Instagram. Letting you know, like, come on, pussy. Now I'm playing with you. Come on, pussy. What you doing? I know you was going to drop. Your team told me. Mm, let that sink in. Your team told me he was going to drop. Yeah. There's a lot of shit going on, man. Pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention, y'all. <laughs> uh, ah, shit. Well. Well. Better get your Daft Punk helmet, man. <laughs> you better get your Daft Punk helmet, man. Ah, <laughs> uh, I think you done signed up for something you ain't ready for, Ken. I mean, uh, Drake, you done signed up for some shit you ain't ready for, man. You tried to bait this nigga out. He came out and he let you know, nigga, don't fuck with me. Don't kick the bear, my nigga. You was baiting me out. You act like you have some shit. You told me to drop. I not only dropped one, I dropped two. 
You told me to drop. I dropped two. Come on, pussy boy. Two records. I dropped two. Where are you at now? Backfired on you, brother. And the way you were acting like you had one ready to drop as soon as he dropped. That means you went back to the drawing board, my boy. You went back to the drawing board. Let me refigure this out. Let me re-strategize this approach. God damn it. This little slick young wordplay having motherfucker right here. Hey, man. Wave the white flag. You got damn right, Roach. Cause Drake, from me to you, wave the white flag, bro. I feel like it's only going to get worse if Kendrick really starts putting the information out there. And it's not going to be the shit that people expect. It's going to be some shit that make people look at you different. That respect you. It's going to make them respect you differently. Less. Respect you less. And I know he's sitting on information because he keep hinting that shit about his parenting too. If y'all pay attention, he keeps hinting that shit about his parenting. Is Drake paying the perception like uh, paying the perception that he's a great dad, and really he's the polar opposite? And Kendrick knows this, and Kendrick knows has facts and proof. Like, come on, my nigga. Kendrick said that shit very confidently, nigga. I read, I read, I read books to my son. I pray with my son. Do you? How does Kendrick know that? Think about it. It's tricky out here. It's tricky out here. Hey, it's, it's right there, yep. Yeah. On Mortal Kombat, you know, Mortal Kombat, when a nigga be right there, they be like, finish him. That's what's going on right now. Drake, what you gonna do, man? You, you gotta come with one. Because the fatality is next. Fatality. Oh, wait, I got that button. Let me put my button on. Hold on. That's next, man. Fatality. He coming for you, brother. Damn. Yeah, that's a great beef. And, and all though, this is great for the culture. This is great for hip hop. Um, I'm here for that, man. I, I love, I love villains and I love underdogs, bro. Like, I love the underdog story. Like, Ja Rule getting took out by 50 Cent was one of the greatest, like, underdog story in hip hop. Where it's like, this is the top nigga in hip hop. Ja Rule was running rap. He was portraying the image of a Tupac. He was wearing the bandanas like Tupac, talking gangster, talking thug, but making girl records. Same shit going on right now with Drake. But in this case, Kendrick isn't a 50 cent. He isn't an underdog. He's a big dog. So I think what we're going to see is the same thing, y'all. Uh, just a different approach. It's not, it's, listen, Kendrick is still from Compton. He's still Compton, born and raised. That shit is inspired. It's instilled in you, bro. You don't gotta. It's a lot of niggas from Compton that don't gotta join the hood. But guess what? You from that hood. You know all the hood mannerisms. You done grew up around this. My best friends, your cousins, they all come from that cloth. It's in you. But I choose to be the nigga that's about peace and about love. But I can show you, nigga, what 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 I come from. You you're not that. You're trying to be that. So here goes these videos now. Oh, I was a Jewish kid. I grew up. I had a, uh, yeah, boo, 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 boo. Yeah, nigga, you. Peel them layers back, man. Peel them layers back. I'm here for it. The glove. What was the glove about, man? Everything means something. <laughs> Everything means something, man. The glove. <laughs> That's what Kendrick used, bro. Kendrick simply put the glove with the song on the goddamn shit. Interesting. 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 What if? I'm just I'm just thinking out loud. What if Kendrick at this point, Kendrick toying with that nigga. What if Kendrick just at this point say, fuck it. I'm going to come with a record with Rick Ross. 
let me and Rick Ross both go at you. That would be cold. That would be cold. Just on some like, I don't give a fuck at this point. I got you, nigga. Let Rick Ross. Let Rick Ross join me. I would do it. At this point, I would just have fun with it. Fuck it. Come on, Ross. Me and you. Let's pack this thing out real quick. <laughs> that would be hard. Like, damn. This is crazy, y'all. This is, uh, I know a lot of y'all was young when the whole 50 Cent, some of y'all watching probably was young as fuck when the Ja Rule 50 Cent shit happened. But it was similar, like the impact of what's going on right now. It had everybody, everybody, all the eyes was watching that shit. Like, this is a new nigga. You know what I mean? He had to how to rob shit, whatever. How to rob went crazy. Uh, but it's a new nigga. He's with Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre at this time is, he's still like, just imagine 2001, how big Dre was. Dr. Dre ain't put out no music in so long, and he still looked at as one of the biggest producers. This is, a, Dre is still active. Dre dropped Crying 2001. He's still active. He's the nigga. His cosign means everything. He got Eminem. Eminem is a nigga. And then here comes this kid from New York, 50 Cent. And he's finna go at the biggest nigga in rap, Ja Rule. And then he drops, oh, come on, man, hold on. Come on, man. Listen, this is, this is a great time in hip hop. This was what was going on back then. Just imagine, hold on. Just imagine hearing this shit, right? In the moment. Those who live that moment, y'all know. <laughs> Come on, man. It's 50, AKA Ferrari F50. This is why Ja Rule is the hottest nigga in the game. A new nigga from New York underneath Eminem and Dr. Dre drops this. But anyways, back to what I'm saying, though. The top nigga in hip-hop got slayed by 50 Cent. Kendrick is one, I feel like it's a, it's a different approach. Same situation, though. Kendrick is a nigga that was like, hey, I'm over here doing me. I'm chilling. I'm ducked off. I'm a family man. I don't even care about what's going on in rap. Because I can come out and do my thing and drop when I feel I need to drop at this point. I'm happy with what I got in life. I'm content with what I got in life. I'm just trying to be a great father and be a family man. But now you picking on me, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I said what I had to say because it's been years. Everybody like, oh, it just started. Like, they saying it's been 10, 12 years that they've been feeling this way about each other. So something you said triggered Kendrick to come back and then like that, explode on like that. Now, you want to play, let's play, nigga. And now you want to play, let's play. Woo! So you had 10 years to build up ammo on somebody. You've been not fucking with somebody for 10 years. You know how much ammo you could build in 10 years? How much shit you could collect if you got a nigga in this camp that's talking for 10 years? This is that. Just think about that. This could go 10 years back of, of knowledge I have on you, nigga. How long has these snakes been in your circle? It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Imagine a nigga having 10 years of information on you, bro, of like what you did in the past 10 years. And you know there's some fuck shit. I could really expose you. I could, I could expose you, bro. Ah, <laughs> this is crazy. I, I see the white flag coming. I, I think Drake, my prediction is Drake has to, in order to maintain the title of the number one nigga in hip hop, aside from numbers, yeah, numbers wise, all that shit, yeah, you're number one. But we talking about skill, artists, like 
This is where you have to respond. You have to. There's no white flag on this one, bro. You got to respond. If you wave a white flag, ah, oh, it's ugly. It's going to be ugly. Because you did it with Pusha T. And if you do it twice, I'll, niggas ain't going to respect you as number one, bro. Numbers wise, all that, yeah, yeah, yeah. We ain't talking about that. We talking about rap. This is where Kendrick, that crown he been wearing on his head, this is where it becomes really official, nigga. I'm the God. You've been calling yourself six God. You've been calling yourself God all these years. Now you got to face another God, nigga. I'm wearing the thorns on my head. Now you got to face a real God. That shit you did with me, you was a bully. Come fuck with me. Come fuck with me. I got Pharrell fade too. Yeah, yeah, you talking about uh, uh, Wooto? Uh, I got his fade too. Nigga, Kendrick on some Debo shit right now. He on some Debo shit. He running everybody fades, nigga. I got him. Come on, y'all with me. I don't need I don't need nobody else, nigga. One verse twenty. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, man. Kendrick won, man. Kendrick is in the lead. Kendrick is gonna win this shit. I don't see Drake coming with nothing crazy that's gonna turn the tables. I feel like Kendrick has way more. And could go multiple records, but we don't need multiple records. I don't want to. I don't want this to be a let's wait six, seven, eight records back and forth. At that point, it's gonna get boring. Like these next releases is critical. They're they're very critical. Like these next releases coming. This is my opinion. Everything I'm saying is my opinion, y'all. These next releases coming is very critical. Drake gotta respond. What Kendrick will follow up with will be deadly. But I don't feel like he's going to give it all in one record. He's going to crack a little bit. He's going to crack it open a little bit more for him. Because I don't feel like Kendrick wants to end that nigga. I don't feel like Kendrick wants to end him. I feel like he's just giving him a friendly fade right now. Like, look, <laughs> you can't fuck with me, bro. I'm not even going to finish you because I want you to get money. You have a family. You have a kid. I want you to be able to. I'm not going to finish you, but I am going to let you know. I will stagger the fuck out of you every time. you, Nigga, you better not come up for air around me, nigga. I'm the God. Leave me alone. And after this, I'm going to go back into my cubby hole and ride off to the sunset, dog. That's what's going to happen. Drake is going to take the L. How do you want to take the L is the question. That's my prediction at this point. Drake dropped two. Kendrick dropped two. Based off those releases, I feel Kendrick has more information. <laughs> He's more deadly right now. What the fuck can you come with, Drake? Jokes ain't going to work. You wear a size 7 shoe. Oh, you're 4'4". Four, four. Oh, uh, give me 50 push-ups because you're publishing. That's not going to work, Drake. Not this time around. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. The, the the stakes have been raised. Drake, you play poker. <laughs> the stakes have been raised. What are you going to come with, nigga? You're trying to buy information. Nobody has information you could buy. Where do you go from here? What do you say? That's what we're about to see. What do you say? Where do you go? Do you make up lies for Kendrick to now reply and expose that the lies you told are lies and that you're corny? And I'm going to give y'all some extra more, some extra information on this nigga. That's what I think we're going to see right now. Kendrick is going to expose how corny Drake is. Same shit, Ja Rule. 50 Cent did to Ja Rule. I'm going to show y'all how corny this nigga is. He's an actor. He say he a gangster, but he never popped nothing. I just, I took nine shots, nigga. I'm known for this. My mama was a gangster. He's living my life. He's rapping about my life. That was 50 cent hole approach. Nigga, you fake, nigga. Fuck you and your boss, nigga. And tuck that nigga out. You know what I mean? The real will always Eliminate the fake. Always. Always.
Always. So, here we go. Yeah, man. That's my take on everything. I'm going to get up out of here, though, man. Appreciate y'all motherfuckers. Make sure y'all sub up. Make sure y'all sub up, man. Love y'all motherfuckers. We going live tonight, man. Ace Boys Worldwide. Tune in. Y'all already know the deal, man. Shout out to everybody. Uh,